What's going on, everybody? We're back to you for another edition of Chamber Chat, and we got to give a little disclaimer before we get started here. So we're joined by Jamie Clark with Downtown Roanoke. Um, some of you folks know them as DRI and, and the great staff and all the things that they help um, really help develop in downtown. So we got to give a disclaimer for Jamie. We're all working from home, so there may be some family members that may or may not come by in a Giants uh, sports shirt that we saw before we recorded. <laughs> And um, we're, I'm having some trouble with my audio, so we're going to give a disclaimer just in case there might be some technical difficulties. I think we're all used to it by now. So with that, good morning, Jamie. Um, good morning. Good to see you over video. Um, yeah. Let us know how everybody's going, doing in, in the DRI staff and how you're doing, um, you know, working from home and, uh, you know, what's going on? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm here working from home. I have a five-year-old who, uh, like you said, may may perhaps make an appearance, hopefully not. Um but yeah, just plugging along, um, you know, trying to get some stuff done. And uh, my coworkers are, are doing the same, trying to, you know, knock out some stuff. Obviously, we, uh, we do a lot of events, but there's a lot of other things that we do. So the events are all kind of on pause. Um, so we're kind of on other projects right now. Uh, but, you know, just doing the best that we can, as everybody else is, obviously. Yep, absolutely. And I think we've, we're all kind of in that adapt, adjust, and move forward in whatever way we can move. And you're exactly right with all, all the events and, you know, sharing information and encouraging shopping downtown, downtown um, you know, as well as us as well. You know, I think we're, we're both in organizations that we, we rely so much on, as we've been kind of telling our people, we're people people. We like seeing people at events. We like interacting. And, and we've had to make those adjustments. So um, you guys are doing a great job though, on sharing information and all from a website who's open, from a retailer site who bring her pick up any type of deliveries, um, those types of things. Talk about how that kind of evolved and, and how you're really keeping everybody forward thinking on, on what businesses are doing downtown. Um, yeah, so obviously when, when everything hit, uh, the first thing that we did was have to cancel our St. Patrick's Day celebration, uh, which was scheduled for March 14th. So I think, um, you know, for us, it was kind of that initial, uh, what are we doing on our end? And then, you know, in our role, um, we are, you know, an advocate for the downtown businesses. We represent downtown. So I think we pretty quickly pivoted to how can we help our businesses? Um, and they were simultaneously trying to figure out what to do with their businesses. So, uh, you know, we decided pretty early on, you know, the best way for us to at least initially help was to help spread the message of how can people still support these businesses if they can't or don't want to step foot into the businesses. Um, and we saw many of them, many of our retailers and restaurants pretty quickly pivot um, to offering, you know, curbside pickup and delivery, even the retailers um, who maybe didn't have Facebook pages or didn't have online stores or obviously had not done any curbside pickup or delivery or anything like that. Um, we saw a lot of them pretty quickly pivot um, to different models, which was you know, I, I kind of found it exciting in a way. Of course, it's, it's disheartening um, that it was necessary, but it's also nice to see these small locally owned businesses um, really kind of update their models on the fly to try to figure out how to continue to do business um, and help their customers. So, um, you know, we kind of pulled all that together and um, we have a really great web developer too that we work with who came up with a, a really great wireframe for the page um, for, for us. So, uh, we got that uploaded onto our website pretty quickly. We update it. I update it as often as needs to happen, which things are changing pretty quickly. Um, and we develop, you know, we have a, a newsletter that we send every Wednesday, uh, which people can sign up for that on our website at downtownrent.org if they're interested. Um, that was something that we shared every single Wednesday anyways, and normally had what's coming up downtown, obviously event heavy. Um, but since that's not really a thing right now, um, we've transitioned to just making that a place where we share the uh, weekly update of how people can continue to support these downtown businesses, um, even if they can't or don't want to go inside. So. Yeah, you're, you're exactly right. And I wanted to recap a few things you said for, for everyone here, but you're exactly right. I think, you know, you've hit it on the point that we're, we're seeing a lot of encouraging things from owners and so everybody, you know, doing their best to stay positive um, and, and pivot and adapt to, uh, you know, allow people to, to purchase and, and still enjoy their businesses, you know, their products, businesses, and services. And um, I'm glad to hear you. You're continuing to see that with all your guys' work downtown. We're seeing it here um, with our reach here in the region, and, it, and it's great to see. So just to recap, you know, we wanted to, to let folks know that they sign up for your email online at downtownroanoke.org, correct? Right, that's right. 
Okay. And then for folks, you know, you guys are doing a lot on social and sharing a lot of great messages. Um, talk a little bit about some of the resources, additional resources that are on your page right now and some of the things that you're continuing to be forward thinking on social media with. Um, yeah, so we have a Facebook page where, again, we normally share a lot of kind of what's coming up downtown. Um, we've tried to continue um, to share messages, whether it's from businesses um, or things that are going on, um, information from the Corona Regional Small Business Association, um, you know, kind of however we can. Um, on, the, on the back side of it, for businesses that are located downtown, uh, we're kind of I'm sending them almost weekly emails, sometimes more often. It just depends on what's happening. Um, resources and further information, which um, I also did build out a section on our website as well that has um, just some general business resources information. There's been a few other, um, you know, I don't know if you guys, you guys may have developed something like that too. I know the uh, partnership has something. So I think everybody's really just trying to make sure that um, there's information available for the businesses, um, you know, and helping them as much as possible. So uh, we're using our Facebook page for some of that. Um, and then also, like I said, just to share um, so the public knows how they can continue to support our downtown smoke, you know, small, uh, locally owned businesses because predominantly um, that's what we have. Yeah, absolutely. You're, you're exactly right. So I'm, I'm glad to hear and you're exactly right on the fact that a lot of organizations have resource page, um, you know, for those that work with them the most. And I think that's fantastic that we all have something um, for folks to have easy access to. So um, Thanks for joining us, Jamie. Um, yeah. we didn't, I guess we didn't have the visit on your end, but we had the issues on my end. So we'll take it as we'll take it as a win. So um, well, time. The dog is is trying to play with a squeaky toy now. So we got a, a different <laughs> uh, a different child visitor. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Well, thanks for joining us. Um, good luck to, to be safe for all of your staff, and hope everybody continues to stay safe and healthy. Shop small, shop downtown, downtownroanoke.org, as well as on their social page to learn more about how you can shop downtown. Thanks for dealing with our te technical difficulty audio issues on my end. And that wraps it up for another edition of Chamber Chat. We're going to keep them rolling. Keep making right. it a great week. We'll, uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, everybody. Love.